This must be it. The place in which the soothsayer spoke of. If only you could see it, my child. I have never seen a forest so green and full of life before. This must be the place. It has to be. I do not know what to expect, little one. So we best keep our eyes open and our minds clear. Stop. Do not take another step into the forest. You are not welcome here. I am sorry. It has been a long time since the likes of a human have graced this forest. And there is a reason for that. I suggest you state your business before taking another step. You must be the guardian of the forest. I am the guardian of this place. Please, I seek no ill will towards you or this place. I come seeking help for a sickness. I'm sorry. This place has not been open to humans in a very long time. I'm afraid whatever you may have heard is mere fiction. No, please. I beg of you to listen to me. I do not seek this for myself. If not for yourself, then whom do you seek it for? My child. They are sick. An illness took hold of our village. It took the lives of many, including my wife. This child is all that I have left, Guardian. The physicians of your kind, they cannot help you? They have all turned me away. They say there's nothing to be done, but I can't accept that. How did you come to be here? The tales of this place are known to a very few. There was a soothsayer in my desperation. I sought her out. She told me of this forest and the magic it has, that perhaps there might be a cure. Many years ago that may have been true, but this forest and the magic within have since diminished, no thanks to you or your people. Certainly, that was a long time ago. Centuries or decades, it does not matter. The life in this place has suffered. It is but a shell of what it once was. I fear whatever wives' tale you may have heard, it's all quite a bit different now. I... Please, my child is still and quiet now. They've not eaten since yesterday. I just want to see them grow up, have a life of their own. I will do anything you ask, anything you want. If they die, surely... I will too. It is difficult for me to fully comprehend your situation as I currently am. I will give myself physical form for you and I to speak more comfortably. Perhaps I could take a look at the young one. But no, if you try anything, or if this is some trick, I will not hesitate to strike you down. You receive this warning. Do with it what you will. Anything that happens past this point is on you. Is that understood? You have my word that I will not harm you.
I will ask you to please set them down and step back. I may not be familiar with human illness, but I agree that it is plain to see that there is not much life left within this child. The illness. It was slow to kill the healthy and able-bodied, but quick in the children and elders. I thought we had escaped it, but when symptoms came, they have held on for longer than most of those that I have seen. Yes, I can see that the spirit within is strong. Fading, but strong. Please, I beg of you to help them. I know my people have wronged you, probably beyond forgiveness. Humans are selfish creatures. I am being selfish right now. I know that, but... You know nothing of what you ask of me, human. My very purpose is to protect this place from those who would use it. This child is innocent and deserves the chance to live. I long for the days when magic was a part of this world. There was more than enough to go around to help those in need. But I fear that time has long since passed. I should send you away, but I find myself unable to do so. Stay here. Do not move. I will. I will see what I can do. When will you return? As soon as I am able. to keep you warm. You must hang on. Just a little longer. You must. I am returned. Place them down again. No. Do not leave. I will need your help. Help? But what could I do? I will need your help transferring the magic from myself to the child. Magic must come from a person you trust. And you have shown that you trust me. And I show that I trust you in agreeing to this. I will... I will do what I must. You must also understand that there may be consequences in doing this. What kind of consequences? I do not know what the consequences may be, but I do know that magic can be difficult to control. Especially since humans have lived without it for so long. Do you see any other way to save them? I do not. Then, we do it. Before we continue, I must ask one thing of you. You must never speak of this to anyone. You may tell the child when they are old enough to keep silent. But the future of this place depends on its secrecy. The more who know of its existence, the greater the risk. I understand. 
I swear to you that I will never speak of this to anyone. I swear this oath on my wife's soul. Then I believe you. Then let us begin. Give me your hand. Place the other upon the child's heart. I will use you as my channel. It may feel strange, but you must trust me. I do. Good. Let me see. Yes. I feel their heart beating more strongly now. Try to wake them. Open your eyes, love. I am here. I I never thought I would see these beautiful eyes again. Thank you. I can never thank you enough. Would... Would you like to hold them? No, I... I do not know the first thing about your young ones. And yet, you saved one. Hmm. I will go gather some food for your journey back down the mountain. Are you sure there is nothing you need? Nothing I can do to repay you? Keep your word and look after the child. That will be payment enough. Might I ask one final thing before I go? I would like to know what to call the being that saved my child's life. I... I do not have a name. Hmm. What tree is your form made from? A willow tree. Then I will call you Willow, maiden of the forest. Thank you. <laughs>